Hello friends and welcome to another episode of the Urban Homesteading Channel. If this is the first visit in our channel, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome. If you have been here before, welcome back. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. In today's episode, we're going to transform a, a small piece of a, a scrap cedar 4x4 and a small 2x4 into these beautiful coasters and coaster bases. So this will be an effective zero cost product for us. And you can do it with pretty much scrap with anything, right? Now they don't have to be square. You can still use uh, round coasters if you want. They will easily be seated in these bases. So stick around. We're going to show you tips and tricks when needed and definitely in detail how you can do this project, both having some uh, uh, power tools and if you do not have power tools, how to achieve the very similar result using hand tools. Well, I want to know how high to go. So like always, we're using here a, a story stick to decide the width that we want from the edge. And this will be the same width that we're going to use between each successive uh, cut, okay? And as you can see, we can use our, we're using our story stick again. You need to be touching a little bit. Oh, it wasn't quite square, so. Okay. That's what, I was trying to line this up with the, with the actual thing and then you can. But it has to be there. Okay, all right. Right? Is okay. that where it needs to be? I thought we were moving that. We are moving that, but it has to be square there. Okay. No? All right, if you're happy with it. So we decided to have two sets of four coasters versus one set of eight. That's why here in the middle, you see, we, we went a little wider and we're going to kind of hard to separate. But since we're set up, it made sense to make all these mm -hmm. at one pass and, and get it done, right? Yeah. Yep. Not everyone has, of course, a, a data stack to, to create the coaster uh, basis that we created. So I want to see you can actually do it with a hand saw where I'm going to use my bandsaw here for speed but you can do it with a hand saw as well. So you start by, by making a, a rough draft of what you, not a rough mark of what you want to cut, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to start and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make the two cuts, right? One here and one here, the, the, yep. the outermost cuts. Mm -hmm. Scale, but we're going to show you what we're going to do. Use a wide uh, flat screwdriver, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, the first thing is we're going to break this. This is not as satisfying as the big pieces, but as you can see, they break off, right? There. There we go. And you would use smaller. a different size chisel, or I, I suppose you would make it you know, only as wide as you need it to for your coasters. Right, and it's a little smaller, mm -hmm. a chisel. And then all we're going to do is just clear them. That's probably. This is a little small. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, spend a little time. Again, this is not as fast as what we did, but if you do not have a, a data stack, this will be the only way you can do it. But you don't need to have a, a power saw, right? You can do it with a normal saw. The process will be the same, but you will need some way to clean it, right? A chisel is a good way to clean it. And uh, we're going to show you if you want to bring uh, one of the coasters. Now this I'm only doing to show you that you can do it. And as you can see, we have the same outcome, right? Mm -hmm. So do not let the fact that you don't have all the tools hold you back, right? Be creative with what you do have, figure out a way to make it work. People did things like that with hand tools for centuries, well before we started, so you can do this. It's good. It will be three eighths. And in order to consistently make eight coasters that dimension, we use one of our spacing blocks mm -hmm. and we put it here and put the, the blade down of the saw, right? Mm -hmm. We need to be on that side, yeah. And then we hot glue just a piece of scrap to give us this dimension. So that's our stop. Right. So every time we butt the piece of wood up against there, we'll get that consistent 3 8 inch measurement. That's the plan at least. We haven't done it yet. Okay. Sanding, light sanding, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, I think we're in good shape. Yeah. And finally, we'll cut our two uh, our two holders in in half, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, go. And we're going to cut the other one to size, and you can use this one to I to decide. Oh, but okay, you don't want to use that one. Well, I mean. And that will make them identical. Is, is the mark the correct? The okay. Mark's correct. We measured well. We don't measure in this channel. Well, we used our story stick to measure. <laughs> and this is from uh, not only dimensional lumber, but lumber we already had, right? Excellent. So we're doing a little bit of sanding. The saw left a little bit of a wild edge in one of the sides, which is the back side of the saw, right? Mm -hmm. But overall, they don't need a lot of work. They just need a, a very light sanding. Correct? Yeah. Now be careful. They are kind of fragile at this stage. And I mean, it won't be a disaster if you break them, you make another one, but the, the they can break at this stage. So here we are with our two bases. Again, you could have a single base, right? We prefer to have two, so we can have them, for example, in two different tables, mm -hmm. or if you have a, a long table, put them on each side, then many, many different options. And the only thing that remains, of course, we used our laser to uh, engrave the what becomes the motive right now, which is the dragonfly, right? Mm -hmm. And then you simply place them in the basis, is that what it's called a base? Yep. The only thing we're going to do off camera is uh, poly the everything, right? It's a good idea to poly this so it will not absorb uh, liquid and dry and uh, because that might actually break it. All right. 
Could you use something like the orange oil we've used before? I don't think it makes it waterproof. You want to make it waterproof. Mm -hmm. I mean, anything you use can work, but mm -hmm. here we are. What do you think, ladies? I think it's really, really nice. And this was just, again, um, a cedar four by four that we had from mm -hmm. another project. So it was scrap and then a two by four. Right. Two by four. Two by four. We hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of a simple build, but again, continues the trend of our using scrap material and uh, uh, zero cost for us, but again, a very nice outcome. If you did, we'll appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't, the other button twice. Share, like, subscribe, and let us know what else you might want to watch in future episodes of the Urban Homesteading Channel. From Dr. Wizard, Mrs. Wizard, Elpida, and the Urban Homesteading Channel, stay safe, friends. We'll see you next week.